Hi students and welcome back to English class. We are nearing to the end of the chapter The Selfish Giant. So, let's begin with the chapter The Selfish Giant part 4. So, before we proceed, let's have a recap on what we have learned in the previous class. In the previous class, we have learned that the giant had a very wonderful sight in his garden. What was that wonderful sight? Wonderful sight was that through a little hole in the wall number of children have crept inside the garden and as a result what was the change in the garden change was that the trees were covered with blossoms birds started twittering in delight but in one father's corner of that garden it was yet winter you know what is the reason reason was that there was a small boy who was wandering here and there around the garden and was crying bitterly reason was that he was not able to climb the tree while all of the children managed to climb and touch the branches of the tree he couldn't climb as a result spring didn't approach that corner so who happened to find the seed it was a selfish giant let's see what is the change in the giant's mind on finding the sight so we'll begin with the chapter and the giant's heart melted as he looked down so finding the scene the giant's heart melted the boy was crying bitterly wandering round the tree so finding the scene the giant's heart melted so there is a change in this giant's mind now he was saying to himself how selfish i have been he said now i know why the string would not come here i will put the poor little boy on the top of the tree and then i will knock down the wall and my garden shall be the children's playground for ever and ever so this giant is chilling now i know the reason why the string has not come to my garden so he know the reason he has understood that wherever the children were climbing or what he have seen is that in whichever tree the children climbed it was spring whereas because the small child could not climb the tree that tree was still it was still winter so the giant realized that fact if i allow the children to play in the garden it will be spring if i don't allow the children to play in the garden it's going to be winter he has learned that lesson now so the giant was chilling now i know why the spring would not come here so he's chilling now i have realized the reason why the spring has not come here why the spring has not visiting my garden so he is telling if the spring should visit my garden i know what i should do what should the giant do can you guess of course he is telling i will put the poor little boy on the top of the tree the giant realized i should open my garden for the children so he is telling i'll put the poor little boy on the top of the tree and not only that i will knock down the wall what did the giant do out of his selfishness he has erected a big wall around his castle right so he is telling now i will knock that wall down so that all the children can enter my garden and my garden shall be the children's playground for ever and ever so here after i'm going to open my garden for whom for the children so that what will enter his garden so that spring will enter his garden he was really sorry for what he had done so in the end the giant felt really sorry for what he had done what was that great or the bad thing or the bad deed that he has committed in his life out of his selfishness 
he has erected a big wall or a huge wall round his castle and thereby he prevented the small kids from entering or the small children from entering his garden and when he did so how the nature retorted back or how the seasons punished him was in the form of spring not entering the garden spring here actually stands for happiness he couldn't enjoy happiness anymore it was winter throughout or it was gloominess everywhere so the giant is telling now i'm going to do one thing i will knock down the wall not only that i will open my garden for children let them play from here so that he can feel happy throughout or the spring will enter his garden so he crept down stairs and opened the front door quite softly and went into the garden so what is the giant doing now he crept down stairs without making much noise he crept down stairs and he opened the front door quite softly and in a very soft manner he opened the front door and went out into the garden and he is moving out into the garden let's see how the children reacted when they saw the giant but when the children saw him they were so frightened that they all ran away and the garden became winter again but what did the children do when the giant came out they ran away when the giant came out what did the children do they ran away they were so frightened so they ran away so when they ran away what was the change in the garden the garden again became winter so what brings happiness to the garden your winter stands for what winter stands for gloominess or lifelessness always remember winter stands for gloominess or lifelessness if there should be happiness in garden or if spring should enter the garden who should be there in the garden there should be children so when the children saw him they were so frightened that they all ran away and when they ran away what came back to the garden winter came back to the garden only the little boy did not run for his eyes were so full of tears that he did not see the giant coming so you remember the little boy right who was standing on the farthest corner of the uh, garden yeah that little boy did not run is it because he's not frightened no reason was that his eyes was full of tears so he didn't find the giant approaching and the giant stole up behind him and took him gently in his hand and put him into the tree so the giant stole up behind him stole up behind means very uh, without making much noise he went behind him and took him gently in his hand now he is there is no gruffness in his voice he is very gentle he took him gently in his hand and put him into the tree so why was the tree uh, covered with frost and snow before reason was that the child was not able to climb the branches of the tree right so now what is the giant doing he is helping the boy to climb the tree he put him into the tree so what was the change in the tree when the giant placed him on the branch of the tree and the tree and the tree broke at once into blossom very soon the tree was covered with flowers and the birds came and sang on it not only that the birds came and sang on it and the little boy stretched out his two arms and flung them round the giant's neck and kissed him so the little boy was very happy the gentle behavior of the giant so the little boy he is very innocent so he kissed the giant 
and the little children when they saw the giant was not wicked any longer came running back and with them came the spring so the children who went out being frightened of the giant saw this wonderful sight there so they came back running and then when they came back again which season came back spring season came back spring symbolizes what spring symbolizes happiness so what came back to the garden when the children came back spring came back spring came back means what came back to the garden happiness returned to the garden it is your garden now little children said the giant and he took a great axe and knocked down the wall and when the people were going to the market at 12 o'clock they found the giant playing with the children in the most beautiful garden they had ever seen so the giant is telling dear little children it is your garden you can play from here so the children were very happy and at the same time what else did the giant do he took a big axe and he knocked down the wall of his castle and so what was the sign that the people saw when they were going to the market at 12 o'clock the giant was playing with the children in his beautiful garden so dear children what is a great lesson you have learned from here yes the great lesson is that we should never be selfish in our life when the giant was selfish which season approached his garden it was winter season right winter season stands for lifelessness or gloominess it was gloominess everywhere but when he allowed the children to enter the garden which season came back it was spring spring stands for happiness so dear children what should we do in our life in order to attain happiness the thing is that we should never be selfish we should learn to share our things with others and moreover just like how the giant behaved to the boy in the end we should also be kind to others if you follow this golden rule in your life which are the golden rules never be selfish share things with others and be kind to others just like how the giant has changed in the end then we can make this world a wonderful place to live in and moreover learn be close to the people around you be kind to them love them share with them and also respect your neighbors your friends and everyone in and around you so hope you will make this golden rule you will follow this golden rule in your life so what which are the three golden policies you need to follow should be selfless you should not be selfish you should be selfless what is the second golden rule learn to share things with others sharing mentality and also just like the giant how or how the giant was behaving to the boy we should be kind if you follow these three golden rules you can make this world a wonderful place to live in will you follow it in your life hope you will follow this so we have come to the end of the chapter so goodbye